Hello, welcome back to my channel and to another week in outfits. The last video like this that I filmed really inspired me to pull out the camera and just share more of my day-to-day -day outfits. However, if you follow me on TikTok, then you're probably getting a pretty good look at what I'm wearing, even the not so fashionable outfits as well, like when I'm wearing leggings and a big oversized knit sweater. Today is Monday. It was quite overcast this morning, but the sun has now come out and it's quite a beautiful day actually. One thing that has been really striking to me about Sydney's winter this year has been the fact that I have rarely needed to wear a coat. Uh, I have been wearing some jackets, but that's sort of the extent of the outerwear that I've actually needed to put on. So if you're wondering why I can be wearing what I'm wearing in the middle of winter, it's because I live in a very, very mild climate. I'll quickly talk through my jewelry, then I'll show you what I'm wearing in the mirror. So earrings are just some little hoops from Linya. I forget the name right now. Then I have on my favorite chain necklace from Majuri. This is the Don't Look Back ring from Linya. And then also on my wrist, I'm wearing this beautiful chain bracelet from Monica Veneta. You have to forgive any mess that you might see in the background here. I've been filming and haven't had a chance to put everything away, uh, but I've gone for an all black look. So the top that I'm wearing, this one is from Gentle Herd and you will have seen it in a recent video where I was talking about styling trends. I don't know how well it's gonna come off on camera, but it has this very, very light rib texture to it. It's a silk and cashmere blend, so very, very comfortable and great if you want to wear a knitted piece, but you want something that is going to be really soft and not itchy at all. I've got it in a size small. The blazer that I have on, not going to be to everyone's taste, but it's my Frankie Shop blazer. I really am trying to get a lot of wear out of this just to make sure that I'm getting good value for money because it was a bit more of an expensive item. This I also have in the small, but I think an extra small actually probably would have served me just as well, especially to have slightly less of an oversized fit. This blazer actually also looks really good if you just cross it over like that and belt it, which is a nice way to buy into that oversized blazer trend without looking like you're wearing something that is too, too oversized. The jeans are my Everlane, uh, these are called the Authentic Stretch Skinny, I believe. They're the ones with the button fly that have sadly been discontinued, which is such a shame because these jeans are just absolutely fantastic. Shoes that I'm wearing today are my little pointed toe flats from Vivaya. I really, really like these shoes, I'm wearing them in the European 40 and they're ever so slightly snug across the foot uh, because they do have that stretch knit fabric. Um, it doesn't, you know, doesn't give me any blisters or anything, but I think I would have been happier if I had a bit more length because my toe is pretty uh, high up into the point. And then my bag today. I've opted for my lovely little Isimiyaki prism bag, which again, I know not to everyone's taste, but I've actually really been wanting one of these bags for years. I think they're really cool, very functional um, and visually interesting. And the sage green is just a really nice way to add some color to my outfits, which maybe I wanna try and make an effort of wearing a bit more color this week. So let's see how I get on with that. Anyway, I'm going to stop nattering on and I will see you guys tomorrow with my next look of the week. Hello, it is Tuesday today. It is really, really beautiful and sunny outside, but it still feels quite nippy and cold. I think it's maybe 17 degrees. I do have to head out for a quick walk to um, run some errands, so I might actually put a coat on, but um, I'll share with you what I'm currently wearing. So I do have on some earrings today. I am wearing these ones here, which are from Monica Veneta. I don't know if they have these exact ones anymore. It might be a slightly different style, but really cute way to add some color into my outfit. I do also have on this ring, which is from their collaboration with Mother of Pearl. And then on my other hand, I'm wearing this mini Pave diamond ring from Majuri. Now I've gone for all neutrals, so so much for wearing color, but I suppose I do have that little wee addition of color at my ears. So this outfit, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I do feel it's a little bit uninspired, but very, very classic. I've got on a huge oversized knit. This one's from Jenny Kane, it's their alpaca knit. I'm gonna be doing a review of the brand, but it will be going live in September just so that I can add in a few additional pieces. I will say, I'm gonna come up close so you can get a really good look, that I have noticed on the alpaca knit there is some very minor pilling on the front, so did just want to mention that for anyone who was considering this. I'm wearing the small and it's really, really oversized. So if you're petite, maybe size down two sizes, you might like to go down just one size, uh, even if you're not, because there's a lot of fabric. I do have a little tank layered on underneath. It is a really high ribbed tank from H&M and they are brilliant. So I will pop a pic on screen and also link that one because 
they're really good basic. The jeans that I have on today are from Madewell. I've had these ones for a while now. Uh, I'm wearing them in the 25. I do find their denim fits a little bit on the larger side. Uh, but they're just a really classic style and I don't know if you can see this but I have rolled them up once at the ankles. The shoes are a pre-loved find. These are the by far Danielle heels and I'm wearing them in the European 40. I remember when these first came out I did try them on in the 39 and they were too snug so while it feels like there's a little bit of a gap at the heel there they're actually a perfect fit for me and then my bag is my or my bag, little mini bucket bag, which uh, I do have a discount code if you are making your first order from there. So I will have that linked down in the description box below, but I love the little extra texture that this adds to my outfit. So there you are, that is a good look at what I have on today. See you guys tomorrow. Happy Wednesday, it's about lunchtime. I've just recently gotten back from going to a breakfast event with Menense Skincare. I did do a mini vlog over on TikTok, so I'm trying to do some more relaxed kind of content over there. So if you're on the platform, I'll put my username on screen. It's linked in the description box anyway. Um, but yeah, that was really great. It was so nice to get to catch up with some girls I haven't seen in a really long time. And our daughter was a little angel. She didn't make a peep the entire time, which can always be a little bit hit or miss. Now I've got to crack on with a little bit of work before I get our son from daycare. In terms of the weather, it was super overcast this morning, but not cold. It just felt like there was a bit of warmth in the air, which is nice, uh, especially considering that it's winter here. Uh, and now it looks like the sun has come out to play. So I've really dressed accordingly. In terms of my accessories, I am wearing my timeless pearly earrings. I just have the ceramic and embellished bauble on the one ear and then I pulled the pearl drop off on the other one because I wanted to have a bit of an asymmetric look. I have on my favorite chain necklace from Majuri, which I've had for a couple of years now. Oh, and I do also just have my Chanel brooch adorning my sweater today. I do think I'm going to cut my hair maybe this week. I do cut my hair myself just because it's so simple um, and it's basically straight across cut. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm wearing. So you had a little bit of a peek of the sweater before. If you have been a long time subscriber of mine, you'll be very familiar with this sweater. It is the Alpaca Knit from Everlane. Definitely one of my top three from the brand. I reckon if you're buying anything from them, the Alpaca Knit for sure. Their jeans, I think, are fantastic. It doesn't matter what style. And then also, I really like their air tees as well. Even though the seams twist, I just think they are such a nice weight and really, really comfortable. I have it on in the size small, and this is the almond color. It's a slightly cool-toned, oaty grayish, I would say. The trousers are new. These were gifted to me from W Concept. These are from Front Row, and I am obsessed. I love the color. It's a really nice, sort of a muted blue, despite having quite a saturated tone. I love the fact it's got the little belt. Um, I just think it adds a nice little extra detail. Um, and yeah, they're a really nice length as well. Um, I'm 172 centimeters tall, but I do have a shorter inseam um, and a really good high rise. I'm wearing them the size small and they're a great fit, uh, but really, really lightweight and breezy. I think these will be a great option for the summer. Oh, which by the way, I do have discount codes in the description box all the time now. So definitely worth having a little bit of a look because I really want to pass on any savings to you that I can, uh, especially with brands that I have an ongoing relationship with or have some sort of communication with. And then the shoes I'm wearing today are my about Ariane little pointed toe pumps, which you will know I adore. And then for the bag, I have just gone with my little mini bucket bag from Oh My Bag. Uh, with the croc leather. So that is a look at the full outfit today. And actually this was the shirt that I was thinking about wearing, uh, but ended up going with knitwear in the end. I think I changed about three times this morning and then I really just had to run out the door. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next look of the week. Hello, so it is Thursday. Uh, today's a little bit overcast, but it's just gonna be one where I'm actually at home with the kids and it's reasonably warm in the house. So I've gone for something to reflect that. I think it's 21 degrees today. Um, I don't actually have any jewelry on. I haven't really been bothered with that, but I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you my outfit. I've really been into wearing a bit more color recently uh, and I'm loving these muted shades. This is a very pale lemon yellow. It's a little bit more saturated in person than it appears on camera. This is from a brand called Auntie. It was gifted to me and it's this beautiful jacquard knit cardigan. So you can see there the really lovely detail on it has this beautiful texture as well so i've worn that loose uh with 
the top, bottom two buttons undone. Then I have paired it with my beloved J. Crew denim skirt. I went and got this out of storage. I thought I would just see if it still fit me because it was quite a generous skirt and it's probably a little bit higher on my waist than it normally would be, but glad to have it back out on rotation. I've had this one for I think about five years now and it's just been such a brilliant staple in my closet. I'll try and link some similar alternatives down below. My shoes today are my little Vivaya Espresso Aria 5s. These are unbelievably comfortable. They're seriously like wearing a pair of slippers, which I love. So quite often they're ones that I will reach for when I've just got a day at home. And then no bag because I'm really just planning on spending the day at home. I'll probably just use my Neverfull if I need to. But yeah, that is my outfit for Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow for my last outfit of the week. So it's Friday today, end of the week, and final outfit that I'll be sharing in this video. It's another reasonably mild day here, so I've just got some knitwear on. Uh, in terms of jewelry, I don't really have much on except for my little studs, which are these beautiful crawlers from Linnea. Um, here's a bit of a closer look. Um, I'll flip the camera around and show you what I'm wearing. So you can see I've gone for a really casual sort of an outfit today just because I am at home with the kids. Uh, I think though when you are wearing basics like this, when you have ones that are really, really good and that you absolutely adore, you still feel great and you still feel amazing even if you are wearing such simple items all together. Uh, so the tank that I'm wearing is from Basic. You will have seen this before. It's got a really beautiful rib texture to it, which... Hopefully that's coming up on camera. It is sheer though, but because I'm at home and I'm wearing a cardigan, I'm not really too worried about it. I'm wearing that in the extra small as it does come up big. Uh, the jeans are my favorites from Witchery and I actually think they've done a really similar style for this season. So I'm gonna link them down below. I've got them in the AU8 and they're a perfect fit. The button on mine has come off because I've worn them so much, but I just belt them. And the belt I'm wearing is from Anderson's. This is probably one of the best belts and uh, probably no surprise that I've seen so many other people actually start to buy it and talk about it recently. Um, on side note, I did actually buy that um, Isabel Morant Leche belt that everyone seems to have and I haven't even found myself wearing it. So I really need to pull that one out and get it into rotation as it wasn't a cheap belt purchase uh, but anyway Anderson's belt is great and I've got it in the 70 but I think I would have much preferred having it in the 75 to have a bit of extra width and it would mean that it would be a better option if I wanted to wear it a little bit lower down on my hips. Uh, on my feet are my Vanelli two-tone pumps which I'm really curious if you have bought a pair of these based on my recommendation. I want to know what you think or if you have ended up getting them and loving them. I just think they're so chic, so comfortable and I keep saying this, but mine desperately need to be replaced. Then the cardigan that I'm wearing is from Jenny Kane. This is a 100% cotton uh, cable knit cardigan. I've got the kind of cream color with the light brown buttons. It's really comfortable. Uh, I size down just because it is really quite a relaxed and generous fit. So I'm wearing it in the extra small and to give you a bit of a sense, but just so you can get a bit of a sense of the fabric up close. Overall, I found the quality of Jenny Kane items to be really good. However, I have noticed some pilling on a few pieces, so I will be sure to kind of single that out when I do the review, um, just as I think that'll be helpful for any of you. Um, and I do have a discount code for them. It is Jamie Lee 15 It'll be in the description box along with all the other codes. Um, but yeah, that is the outfit. And then of course the bag today is my Sabin Tilly's Big Sis. Gosh, that's a bit of a mouthful. I adore this bag. And if you want to see a side by side of how it looks next to my Celine Trio, because it is that sort of similar pouch style bag, let me know because I actually think the compartments in this are way better than the Trio. And I also love the little chain. I think it just adds a bit of extra adornment to it. So that is what I have on today. Oh, and before I forget, I do also have a discount code for Sabin too. So that'll be in the description box as well. I always ask this, but I would love to know which your favorite outfit was from this week. I feel like my outfits were a lot more colorful than they generally are, which was nice and definitely a way to add a little bit of extra joy into your day. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me and I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye.